When you have a sense that something's up and you fail to act, you almost inevitably pay a much higher price for it at some point deferred into the future. The problem of self-deception is extremely thorny and it's tangled up with the issue of ignorance as well, right? How do you know when you just don't know something and how do you know when you're being willfully blind and how do you know when you're outright lying? All of those things are, especially to yourself, all of those things are very complicated. To some degree, the answer is, well, you have to develop a philosophy uh, of life that's detailed, that contains within it an assessment of your thoughts about the relationship between truth and deceit. To some degree, you need a moral philosophy that privileges the truth above all else if you wish to cease engaging in self-deception. How do you stop deceiving yourself assuming that you want to stop doing so? Well, I don't believe that you can tell unerringly when you're telling the truth. I think that some of the time, when you lie outright, you know. If you believe that the truth is valuable, and if you believe that living your life according to the dictates of the truth is for the best for you and, and everyone else, let's say, then you could at least stop lying. It's best to live in truth. And then you have to decide how far you're willing to take that, if that becomes an absolute, for example. Once having established that, then I believe that you decide and practice not lying. And then possibly, if you're fortunate, if the world smiles on you, you'll engage in less self-deception. So you might say, well, there's one form of self-deception that occurs when you say something that you know not to be true and pretend even to yourself that it's true or even act as if it's true. But there's a more subtle form of self-deception, which I think is more pervasive, which is the unwillingness to look at or the willingness to turn away from evidence that you know would undermine something that you want to believe or make things inconvenient for you. Often, you know, if you have the sense that there's something more to the story, it's painful and difficult to delve into it. But to not do so, which is the easy route, is a form of, of self-deception, a very common self-deception. When you have a sense that something's up and you fail to act, you almost inevitably pay a much higher price for it at some point deferred into the future. So you have to think that through for yourself and ask yourself if you believe that's true. And if it is true, unless you want more trouble in the future, then perhaps you investigate when your moral unease, let's say, makes, alerts you to the fact that there's something to investigate.